How can I help you? Yes, hi. Can I get three uh, patties? Like hamburger patties? Hamburger patties, yes. Okay, anything else? And just a fork and, and a knife. Okay, you can pour it. Great, thank you. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm waiting for my burger patties. This time I'm getting three. And here we have it, three burger patties. Hey everybody, Justin right here and welcome to the channel. Today we're on day 78 of my million dollar challenge. And as you can probably tell, I'm at Burger King. Why? Because today is my first day of my carnivore diet. Yes. I'm gonna spend the next 30 days fully carnivore. I'm going carnivore 100% and I will explain to you why. Got three burger patties. That's what I'm having right now. Yeah, the main reason why I decided to go full carnivore again mm. is because I need to lose this weight. So I'm going back to basics. In the beginning of my challenge, I decided that I was gonna go full carnivore. That was one of the things that my doctor advised after several checkups and I did blood testing and so I have some science behind my decision and I just go crazy and, and decide to do some diet for no reason. The first few days, I'm not gonna lie to you, were very difficult because I cut sugar and I got the keto flu and uh, I was very weak. But after the fourth day, it, it was great. I started losing weight. And at first I thought that the weight was mostly water, but no, I kept it, I kept it off. And uh, it wasn't until Christmas that I started breaking the rules. And I saw my doctor again, right before Christmas, and I explained to her that my intentions were to have some cheat days and she said to me Henry don't do it because those cheat days are gonna cost cost you your goal and again I wanted to prove her wrong I said I already know my body I I got this I know what I'm doing mm -hmm. so I really thought that I was gonna be able to just have those two cheat days Christmas Eve and Christmas Day and maybe even have another cheat day on the 31st of January, and I will be able to get under 200 pounds. And uh, that didn't happen. Unfortunately, not only I stopped losing weight, but I also gained weight. I went back to the 207, 209 range. And the worst part is that I lost all my control because then I started, you know, I started eating carbs again, little by little, you know. It's, 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 you know, the mind plays some funny tricks because it didn't feel like I was really eating that many carbs. I'm like, oh, just, just some, you know, some fruit or some vegetable. And then I pinch a little bit of bread here, and then I added a little bit of cream cheese, but not regular cream cheese, but flavor cream cheese with caramel. And then it's you know your brain is like, oh, don't worry about it. It's Christmas. It's the holidays, you know. And then you start eating more and more and more. Next thing, here I am. Two o nine, two ten. And it's been over almost two months since I, I fell into the, the bad spin, the negative spin of eating carbs again. And in my head, I'm, I, I, I think that I'm doing very well. You know, you, I'm going to the gym, I'm drinking water, I'm doing all my routines. But guess what? My discipline is out the window. And that's what I want to share with you guys. That yes, you, you don't want to 
want to have habits that are going to kill you, like Alex Hermosi suggests, you know, you don't want to, you don't want to get so frustrated with habits and fill your schedule with so many habits that, that they're actually counterproductive. But I am going to tell you one thing, that you need those habits, you need, like in my specific case, I need the carnivore diet, mainly because it's going to bring discipline back into my life. If I want to see results and I keep missing my, my targets, it'll be 12 months and I won't be in the best shape of my life like I originally intended. And I know it's a really, it's a very hard goal, but it's more mine than anything else. When I tell you that I want to be in the best, I want to lose all the weight and I want to be in the best shape of my life, I know that it sounds crazy. I'm gonna post a picture of my ideal, my ideal body. My and I know that sounds bad, sounds shallow, sounds sounds even conceited, but that's it's not so much for for vanity. It's to be healthy and to feel great and to be in control. Because you once you have the control and you have the discipline to do this to, to get in the best shape of your life then you're able to do pretty much anything some of the benefits of the carnivore diet and intermittent fasting are that automatically within a week I'll be done with the cravings that was one thing that was driving me crazy during the holidays and even old month of, uh, of January cravings all the time Carbs make you crave food all the time. I was hungry all the time. I cut myself many times just grabbing the peanuts, grabbing this, grabbing everything. Like, I, I knew that I was in deep trouble as soon as I was hitting, I was pinching that bread. Okay? I'm a breadaholic, I know that. So as soon as I was pinching the bread, I'm like, okay, this is it, I'm in trouble. I'm back to being an addict and back to the addiction my goal after 30 days is to get under 200 pounds ideally 198 195 I was watching uh, a short uh, of Joe Rogan and I remember that he in the month of January he was doing the carnivore diet uh, he was sharing some of the foods, some of the steaks that he was making, he was grilling. He lost 12 pounds and uh, mostly fat. Like he has very little fat in his body right now. And that was inspiring. So Joe Rogan is one of the, one of the motivators here. It's a combination of diet and, uh, and workout. Oh, no, I got the workout down, it's just diet part and the sleeping are two areas that I need to improve. Five main foods that I'm going to be consuming, I'm going to be eating in the next, for the next 30 days, eggs, and they're very expensive now, so, but we're going to do eggs, beef, chicken, salmon, apologize for the sound of this video I know it's not the best sound and uh, I, I prefer to record this video in a setup more conducive to video recording but I couldn't wait I, I needed to share this with you and I want to uh, this video is gonna have very little editing just to save time your time and I just wanted to make sure that I get to the point and uh, for those of you that are watching and are probably wondering, well, what the heck is this million dollar challenge, you know, have to do with, with the carnivore diet? You know, health is wealth. If you're not healthy and you're not in the best shape of your life, it doesn't matter how much money you have, how much money you make. And health is a huge part of my million dollar challenge. Huge. So I'm gonna 
stop recording in about a minute because uh, I'm getting into I'm getting in, in the, I'm in the middle of nowhere right now, but I'll be driving on a, on a main highway very soon. And obviously, driving and recording is not the best thing to do. It's not safe. Anyhow, folks, today was a very long day. Here we are. Uh, gonna get started now to unwind and get ready to go to bed. I need a good night's sleep. Tomorrow's gonna be a very long day. But just uh, just make sure that you subscribe, you know. This way you can follow my journey and see how this carnivore diet is gonna affect me. Also, please don't miss my video series uh, on the ISO 2022 coins. I sound like a broken record, but you need to pay attention to what's happening. There's something in the air. There's all the planets are aligning and you need to be aware of what's happening right now. The financial systems are going to be changing. Banking the way that we know it is going to be changing very soon. And society itself is already changing. You might not notice um, you know, the Gen Xers and, and the boomers but and even millennials pretty much we are we we're pretty much in the same team but gen c's already you know they're already they're more adaptive to what's to come and uh, you're gonna start seeing retail changing the way that transactions happen you're gonna see more leasing less purchasing so it's already we're gonna we're gonna see with our own eyes how this world is gonna change i don't know if it's gonna be for the better or for the worse but i know it's gonna be changing it is up to us to be prepared so that we can make it a lot easier to deal with the changes and be in a better financial position because with change comes also a transfer of wealth and that's what we're here for i want to make sure that we are all on the same side the wealthy side so please subscribe to my channel like this video share with someone that is interested in this type of topics and until the next one take care